The passing of such famous people is perceived by many as a personal tragedy, as the loss of a loved one, and the very news of their death becomes a real shock to fans. Diego Chavez Collins, May 11, 1995, Veracruz, Veracruz, February 14, 2024, Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, was a Mexican soccer player, midfielder. Diego Chavez began his career as a soccer player with Mexican club Veracruz. On August 12, 2015, he made his debut in the Mexican Primera, coming on as a substitute in the 75th minute in an away game against Tijuana. Twelve minutes after his appearance, Chavez scored his first goal at the top level. Chavez spent the 2016-17 season on loan for Ascenso MX Club Juarez. He died on February 14, 2024, in his 29th year of life. Henri Rono, February 12, 1952, Rift Valley, February 15, 2024, Nairobi, was a Kenyan track and field athlete who specialized in long-distance running. He was the winner of the 1978 Commonwealth Games in the 3000 meters S P and 5000 meters. The 1978 athletic season was the peak of his career. He set four world records in 81 days. He missed the 1976 and 1980 Olympic Games due to boycotts. Best track and field athlete in the world according to Track and Field News in 1978. Born in the village of Cap Tarragon, in Nandy Hills County. At the age of two, he suffered an ankle injury that did not allow him to walk normally until the age of six. When he was ten years old, his father died. He attended elementary school in Kibersang Village, which is five kilometers away. During these years, he started jogging. He worked as a baker. He ran up to 30 kilometers a day to tea plantations, earning $10. In February 2007, the 55-year-old Rono announced that he would attempt to break the world record for the mile for the 55-59 to 59 age group. Also in 2007, he published an autobiography, Olympic Dream. In 2019, Rono returned to Kenya, where he lived until the end of his life, passed away at the age of 72. This is reported on the website of the Athletics Federation of Kenya. The reasons for his death are not given. For the past 10 days, the athlete was in the hospital, French theater and film actor and musician. Real name, Gerard Marcel Louis Barre, was born on November 2, 1931. Barre recorded a small record of his songs on the words of Rousseau. Then a young actor, received in the theater Sarah Bernhard the main role in the play by Jean Cocteau's play Double Eagle. Soon began filming in the movie Captain Fracas in the role of the Duke Valambrisa. These works brought Barr the first success and drew the attention of Brothers producers Charles and Raymond Bordery. They invited Gerard to play in the movie directed by Bernard Bordery, son of Raymond, The Three Musketeers. It was assumed that Barr will play Athos, but after the first Kinnaprabi father and son Bordery decided to appoint the actor to the role of D'Artagnan. After the phenomenal success of the picture Barr played another brave Gascon, Chevalier de Partiana, in films by the same director, Chevalier de Partiana, 1962, and Dare, Partiana, 1964. By the mid 60s, IES Barr became a recognized star of films Cloak and Sword, the second after the legendary Jean Marais Barr also played modern heroes, earning even for a while the reputation of French James Bond. Relatively successfully, he starred in the role of police commissioner of San Antonio in two screen detective ironic works of writer Frederick Dara, who later became a close friend of Gerard. He also played in two not very successful spy tapes, in the military adventure film Flame Over the Adriatic, in the comedy Michel Deville Tender Sharks, in the autobiographical picture of Claude Barry Daddy's movie. In 1969, Gerard Barry co-produced a modern thriller. In Witness, the young heroine Cecile, Claude Jade, witnesses a murder and is caught in the erotic atmosphere of a mysterious man, Gerard Barre. It was his first modern and very shadowy role. It was his last success and his last great role. Barr could not repeat his earlier success. Gradually he withdrew into the background. Gerard himself regretfully recognized that he lacked neither ambition nor vanity necessary in the world of cinema. Continuing, from time to time to play in the theater, 
Barr as part of the theater troupe has been on tour in Guadalupe, where he soon moved with his family. In the cultural center of the city of Pointe Petra Barr led the theater course. After three years, Barr returned to Europe and settled in Spain, continuing to appear occasionally in small roles in film and TV. Barr is the author of the novel Hero of Love and several short stories. At the end of January 2010, by decree of the French Ministry of Culture, actor Gerard Barr was awarded the Order of Arts and Letters, died at the age of 92 years, February 15, 2024. Alexei Anatolievich Navalny, June 4, 1976, Butin, Odensovsky District, Moscow Region, USSR, is a Russian politician, lawyer, and video blogger. He is one of the leaders of the Russian opposition and a leading opponent of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Gained initial fame for his investigations into corruption in Russia. Founder of the Anti-Corruption Foundation, which combines subsidiary projects, Smart Voting, Navalny's Trade Union, Ros Pill, Ros CHKHKH, Ros Yama, Ros Vibri, Good Truth Machine, author of YouTube channels, Alexei Navalny, Navalny Live and Popular Politics. He came second in the 2013 Moscow mayoral election, receiving 27.24% of the vote and losing to Sergei Sabayanin. Since November 2013, he has headed the Central Council of the Russia of the Future Political Party. In December 2016, he announced his intention to run in the Russian presidential election, which took place in March 2018. According to the Vidomosti editorial board, he was actually the only politician who ran a full-fledged election campaign in 2017, but on December 25, 2017, the CEC refused to register him due to his unexpunged criminal record in the Kirovles case. In 2017-2018, he was a leader of the mass protest movement in Russia. On February 2, 2021, Moscow's Simonovsky court replaced Navalny's suspended sentence of three years and six months in the Eve Rocher case with a real one, with him serving a two-year and eight-month sentence in a general regime colony. On February 16, 2024, the Department of the Federal Penitentiary Service for the Yamalonenets Autonomous District reported that Navalny felt ill after a walk almost immediately losing consciousness. Ambulance doctors allegedly carried out the necessary resuscitation measures, which did not yield positive results. Death was stated.